डियर फ्रेंड्स माई सेल्फ सिद्धांत नंदा एंड वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस टूडे इज अबाउट लेव मेथड दिस इज लेव मेथड ऑफ डिफ्रैक्शन this is uh, a method of diffraction having certain advantage over the normal diffraction pattern okay and or the normal diffraction method what happens in normal diffraction method is uh, we used to let the x ray let the x ray to pass over a crystal and there from there we will get a diffraction which is studied with the help of the photographic plate this is uh, quite similar to that condition but uh, in this case what happened we let a x ray beam to fall on the crystal this is what is the crystal and this is my x ray okay and after that there will be scattering of rays these scatters they are observed with the help of a photographic plate okay so what happened here we we place a crystal and the crystal is stationary in front of the x ray beam first case the crystal is stationary in front of x ray beam okay this is the x ray beam passing after the crystal will diffract and this is received by the photographic plate which is uh, situated at some distance from the crystal this photographic plate is situated at some distance from the crystal the second thing that is uh, the diffracted rays are received by photographic so in order to get a clear diffraction pattern what we do in this case in lu method is we allow this uh, x ray to pass through a uh, narrowing slit arrangement before falling at this crystal the x ray has to pass through this this is what is my slit arrangement so before falling at this crystal this x ray has to pass through this slit arrangement and narrower this is the uh, dia of this slit fine will be the interference or clear interference pattern can be observed that is a slit condition okay and the fourth one in order to get a clear diffraction pattern in advantage to previous diffraction what we use in the lu method is uh, to use the x rays not of uh, single wavelength or finite wavelength uh, range we use a continuous range of wavelength that is a continuous range of wavelength of x ray is used for that what we uh, do is that is depending upon this crystal the crystal must be of tungsten and we apply about uh, 60000 
volt so that uh, we can get such a continuous range of wavelength in this method what is the advantage of getting this uh, continuous wavelength range is previously we are concerned of the normal diffraction pattern where uh, there are two planes and diffraction has to be occurred from these two planes but for that uh, we need a wavelength that can satisfy the Bragg's condition for these uh, two pair of planes in the crystal which is uh, not that uh, probable but uh, in advantage to that in U method what happened we have used continuous uh, wavelength range so from this uh, wide range of wavelength any one wavelength can satisfy that condition any one wavelength can satisfy that condition the condition of Bragg's uh, equation or in other words what we can say there may be uh, a pair of planes for which uh, whatever may be the D D means interplanar spacing so whatever may be the interplanar spacing and whatever may be this uh, angle of incidence theta okay there may be any one value of lambda lambda wavelength of incident ray so there may be any one value of this uh, lambda for which uh, Bragg's condition can be satisfied and this lambda may be any one wave out of this uh, wide range of wave. Okay. So uh, this is what about the schematic diagram and uh, construction of uh, Liu method of diffraction. So when this method is used, we will get a diffraction pattern like this. That is, uh, there will be a central spot and uh, series of spots like uh, this like a uh, okay these are spots somehow clean spots okay. this kind of diffraction pattern will be observed for the Liu method when uh, such a diffraction pattern is observed then from this pattern we can conclude something what are the conclusions the first conclusion is the spot which obtained in Liu method is uh, quite expected that means uh, using the reflection law where the spots were expected to be formed is exactly there where uh, using this Liu method we got the spots that is the spots are expected okay using the normal diffraction we are used to have a single spot but here we are getting series of spots Okay, and when locus of these spots are done, when I join these uh, spots, we'll get ellipse. That is the uh, locus of spots gives uh, ellipse, and these ellipse encloses the central image. What we have obtained from layer method that is ellipse enclosed central image and if a spot is obtained on that ellipse that means that uh, spot is corresponding to the plane included within the zone of that ellipse there is a uh, what on ellipse corresponds to the plane from the zone of the last but uh, not in the list is uh, is that we cannot use this uh, Liu method 
to determine the crystal structure in usual manner. Why? Because uh, since there are wide range of wavelengths, there may be radiation or reflection in different orientation from the same plane. What that means is, we will get uh, the waves for a particular spot from the same plane, but uh, the waves are many in number. That is, uh, more than one waves will fall on a single spot. As a result of what, we cannot determine the intensity of a single wave at a single spot. Hence, uh, determination of uh, crystal structure using this uh, Liu method of diffraction is quite difficult. This is what uh, all about Liu method. I hope you enjoyed this. For more, subscribe to the video.